beautiful place. My favorite place today. Well, Marissa, this is my favorite place too. That's good. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Hey everyone, this is Tim here. I'm uh, grateful to be in Vegas with some good friends and it's a nice warm day and we're gonna catch a show later but I think before then we're gonna grab a place to eat and uh, the friends have asked uh, what's a good place to go to and they want a buffet and on the strip one of my favorites is the Aria buffet uh, it's kind of a little bit of a hidden gem it's not as busy as a Bacchanal which is good too this is quite uh, affordable and uh, always available. So I'm gonna meet up with our friends. Thank you so much for joining uh, and let's uh, head on to the Aria. Let's go. So pretty excited here. We're at the buffet and uh, guess what it's called? It's just called the buffet. I guess uh, it doesn't need any other introductions. So let me show you our empty table so far and uh, let's uh, rectify this uh, situation with the trip to the buffet. And let me show you the buffet here. So it wraps all the way around the uh, room and then the uh, dessert station all the way over there. We'll start right over there so they always start with the bread station and that is the one thing we will absolutely skip but let me show you they've got the carvery the hot food station and then they've got the salad bar station and then the next station over is the seafood station which is amazing so we'll work our way through there so let's start off with the uh, salad bar and we've got some amazing salads smoked duck salad with strawberries back there and we've got some roasted asparagus really nice bacon on the salad station caesar beets <laughs> we've got some greens this is pretty impressive even the salad looks good here and it gets better <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing thomas uh the soup looks so good. Yeah, it's fresh. Just came out. This is extra kesem cheese with the mustard. Oh, nothing better than fatty cheese sauce and and then a New England clam chowder. Chowder, of course. Your seafood is so amazing here. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go for a bowl of that. And then your classic chicken soup. Chicken soup, always good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> all right, and beautiful individual salads. I've got some uh, tuna salad. Uh, a wedge salad that looks pretty nice we've got a build your own gourmet caesar so i guess all the nicely trimmed lettuce here some shrimp and uh, chicken and uh, parmesan and garlic and lots of cheeses here very nice all right so we'll take you to the carvery station the meat looks really good so it goes from one end rounds the corner and uh, more good food there let me show you what do we have we've got some really nice potatoes we've got some corn homemade mac and cheese some beans and potatoes wonderful sliders so these are uh, we've got little baskets of fries and uh, buffalo chicken wings and let me show you the mountain of meats we have and I like the fatty meats here look at all that uh, nice fat on the pork I think that's pork belly and uh, the brisket is really good here. Look at this. Hey Josh, how are you? Doing wonderful, how about you? Not too bad. The meats look amazing. It's like a mountain of meats. What's your favorite? My favorite? Probably the brisket. Brisket? All right, I think I'm gonna grab some of that. All right, All right. thank you. Oh, looks so good, very good. Thank you for the recommendation. That looks pretty good. What else is good here? Can I get some uh, sausage? Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. And a little bit of sauce here. Okay. All right, so that was the carvery station. 
now we'll we'll have the uh, kind of the international station with the Latin American and the Indian and the uh, Mediterranean. So we've got a bit of Mexican, the fried chilies, uh, some tortillas, pork carnitas, Spanish rice, and some baked beans. And then, uh, oh, this looks so good. Not for everyone, this is menudo, so tripe and all that good stuff. And I think we're transitioning to Indian. So we've got the tandoori chicken and the naan and a wonderful uh, tandoori oven that's uh, producing all this good stuff. Some basmati rice, uh, some uh, aloo stew, chicken curry, chana masala, and uh, some uh, lamb uh, korma there. And then I think we're into some Mediterranean food here. So we've got some uh, breads or chips, and then some uh, Greek salad, some hummus, uh, many, many different hummus, plain and uh, damales, some salsa and uh, salsa verde, guacamole, oh, sour cream. But one thing is the, uh, the pizzas certainly do look amazing here. And I think, and to be honest, the Aria is the only place I'll get their pizza because it's uh, pretty phenomenal. So thin, look at this. Okay, so we have the margarita pizza and some uh, beautiful mushroom pizza. But just look how thin that is. That is absolutely amazing. It's like paper. And what I like about Aria is things are in their individual portions. So you've got these uh, giant meatballs, truffle spinach dip, and uh, oh, that is a short rib with mashed potatoes. Absolutely amazing. Some beautiful dumplings. And this I have to try, the lamb asubuco. We have a made-to-order pasta station. Really nice. So I'll take you to my favorite station next, the uh, seafood station. Hi, Roberto. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that, all that seafood. Yeah, we got this one and that's in it. Yeah. That's in it And I saw you had... King crab. You have king crab. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. Really nice. Nice and big. Oh, thank you. And you also have oyster Rockefeller. Yeah. Oh, can I get one? Huge oh, nice. thank you. Look at that, beautiful here. Thank you so much. All right, so folks here are super friendly. Roberto is uh, fantastic. And let's, uh, oh, look at this. We have some shrimp corn chowder. All right, so we have uh, kind of the seafood station here. And uh, I think they're gonna replenish this quite regularly. I saw a ton of king crab here. But if you don't see anything, I guess that's what uh, Roberto's always there to help. And then amazing uh, sushis here, which I'll stay away from, uh, too much rice. And we have some uh, Hawaiian poke. So you can make your poke bowl here, seaweed, tuna, crab, salmon, fresh uh, cucumber. Can't wait to give that a try. And now we have some paella. Got to try some of this here. A little bit of rice, wonderful mussels in a beautiful soup, uh, in a beautiful sauce there some clams, and some warm uh, Dungeness crab. This is kind of my favorite here. The shrimp and grits with uh, chorizo. Let's grab one of these. And this are, uh, these are roasted salmon. And finally, some uh, seafood pasta with uh, roasted tomatoes and uh, lots of good shrimp and salmon. Oh, Roberto? Yes, sir. Oh, is it possible to get some uh, king crab? King crab, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, hey, welcome. how are you guys? Hi. So without further ado, uh, Micheli is here and Basil is here. So Roberto has been uh, kind of just feeding me. Nice and hot. Oh, nice and hot. Well, we'll share these ones. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, we'll definitely share these. My God. 
Oh, thank you. Look at this. All right, so I'm getting pretty tired here. And thank goodness there's one more station left. Uh, and that's the Asian station. Welcome to our buffet. My favorite buffet today. This is my favorite buffet too. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Welcome to the family. What do you What do you have there? Crab legs. Oh, crab legs. Yes, All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So we've got some bean sprouts, and I guess when there's bean sprouts, there's pho coming up. And uh, I think I'm right. We've got some egg noodles, and I think. That is pho. We have the fried rice and uh, some uh, chow fun. I guess this is uh, stir fried rice noodles, some uh, asparagus and uh, beef and mushrooms. And then, well, you know what? This is looking a little sad. This is uh, Chinese broccoli. Uh, but you know what? One dish out of all of them as not up to par, that's okay. And we've got some dim sum here. Look at these, uh, we've got some pot stickers and we've got some uh, barbecue pork buns as well. Really nice. Remember when this table was empty? Well, it's filling up fast with good friends and good food. The good friends are here, Basil, Micheli, and the table is all full. Almost full. Almost full. So we've got the uh, warmed king crab, We've got the shrimp and grits, the uh, corn and shrimp, some paella, that awesome oyster Rockefeller, and uh, the carvery station from Josh. We got some uh, fatty pork and some brisket, and we've got some uh, truffle dip that I will share. This uh, massive meatball here, and this pizza. And I think I'm gonna give the pizza a try. Mm. So hands down, the best pizza in the on the strip. Mm. Thin and light and cheesy. And I can't wait to try the meatball. I got more than meatball. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. That meatball is so tender. All right, so uh, that king crab is staring me right in the face. And while uh, basil and Micheli has the little butter, I got the big butter. So let's give that a try. All right, let's see if we can pull it out. Oh, perfect here. A little bit of butter. Mm, absolutely amazing. The crab is sweet and succulent. butter just puts it over the top. So I can't wait to try the Oyster Rockefeller next. Mmm, that oyster is sweet and succulent and briny. Spinach and breadcrumbs are awesome and it's creamy and cheesy. Really nice. So we're gonna have a couple of dishes and a couple of slices of pizza and then we'll take you back for dessert. Oh, hi! hi how Debbie. Buffet is number one. I agree. I agree. Well, and I was just saying this is my favorite buffet of all time. Lady. All right, so great folks here like Darlene and Yoro. So uh, I think before we get too full, uh, we're going to get some uh, desserts here. So after those massive amounts of plates of crab and uh, snow crab and king crab and all that meat, I think we're through. And I think we still have room for some desserts. So let's grab a plate and I'll take you to the sweets or the dessert station. Oh boy, so this is a double tiered uh, setup here. Oh, so we got some uh, red velvet, red velvet whoopie pie. That looks really good. And we have some caramel cream puff, some uh, cupcakes, lots of cupcakes. And oh, finally some cannolis. And these look better than those $15 cannolis at the eatery. And they're free. Well, kind of. Oh, some beautiful cake. And I think this is a pandan mousse cake. Another beautiful tart. Chocolate square. And uh, the carrot cake. An amazing uh, cheesecake. And oh, some brownies and creme caramel. That looks so good. And we have creme brulee, it must be popular. That's the only one left. Oh, and some, uh, I think these are uh, coconut. And then, oh, look at these. A tiramisu cup. 
Let's definitely go for one of these. There we go. And it just goes on. And uh, we have some wonderful brownies. Some blondies. Great pastries. Some cakes. Uh, marshmallows. Some cookies. And these are Italian wedding cakes. That looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go for one of these. And we have uh, nice pastries here. We've got some turnovers uh, and some danishes. I wonder what they call this in Denmark. If you let, if you know, please comment. Uh, we have some cookies and Rice Krispie squares. And here is a lower level. Some uh, caramel corn, some uh, s'mores popcorn. Ooh, wonderful bread pudding. I think this is a bananas foster, kind of. And a crumble or a crisp or a cobbler, I'm not sure which is which. And I think those are the toppings for this uh, round of ice cream here. Hello, is it is it you? <laughs> Hi you, how are you? All right. <laughs> All right, no, thank you so much. You're so kind. And I noticed you have a root beer float. Can I try a root beer float? Thank you so much. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I put the banana inside. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, wonderful. All right, so I'm back at the table. Uh, the, the dessert lady, you, that's her name, uh, is fantastic. Uh, so I can't believe what I have here. Let me show you. So the plate's getting pretty full, but we've got a, a, a wonderful creme brulee, a, a leche flan or a creme caramel, wonderful chi uh, a wonderful uh, carrot cakes. I think this is an ube tart from the Philippines, Italian wedding cake, marshmallow, uh, that slice of cake there, which I'll find out. My favorite, the cannoli. Uh, then we have the cheesecake, the whoopie pie. This is good. The uh, tiramisu cup. And I can't wait to try this. Uh, you was nice enough to make an ice cream float. Let's give that a try. And she was smart to put the ice cream on top. Mm. Nothing like a nice root beer float. And let's try the, uh, let's get some veggies with the carrot cake. Mm. That cream cheese frosting, it's like a 50-50% of uh, cake to frosting. Really good. Perfect ratio there. And I can't wait to try the cannoli. Mm. Shell is nice and crispy. And that mascarpone filling is delicious, really nice. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're gonna finish this up and uh, we'll catch uh, a nice show with the friends here. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much my favorite buffet in Vegas. Very affordable for the strip and um, lots of good food. The king crab was awesome, the oysters. And as you can see, everyone's so friendly and super kind. So thank you so much for watching and uh, until we see each other again, uh, ciao, cheers, mm. very good.